I want to talk first about stage hypnotists because it's a smaller market segment. Um, uh, but I do want to talk about all aspects of hypnotism. So let's talk about stage hypnotism first. I primarily make my living as a stage hypnotist, right? So I have skin in the game here. And I'm telling you, 16 years I've been a stage hypnotist. And I truly believe stage hypnotists are screwed for the next three to six months. <laughs> like, like, and I would love to be wrong about that. And if I am wrong about that, no one's going to be happier about it than me. But you already see, I primarily work in the college market. Colleges are starting to close. I'm going to lose gigs, right? High schools are getting nervous and they're starting to cancel their spring fashion shows, their spring plays, those kinds of events. Um, so if you're looking to do high school fundraisers, they're going to, you're going to probably lose some gigs that way. Um, then you're going to get to, will they actually, and this is off, we don't know, but if things get, keep getting worse, will proms and pro post proms get canceled? Will project graduations get canceled? Um, if you work cruise ships, like there are plenty of cruise ships out there operating right now that are completely safe and are doing well. That is a fact. Don't ignore the facts, but we also have seen the worst case scenarios occur of what happens when an infected person gets on a cruise ship and it spreads. That can be potentially, again, I'm not an industry expert on this, but I'm hearing other industry experts discuss it. This could be so potentially damaging to the cruise industry that you could see massive layoffs and that's going to be, you know, that's going to affect people that entertain. So again, no answers about that yet probably in your interest if you're a stage hypnotist to be thinking about all these different venues, all these different marketplaces, they all center around gathering people together. They all do. So whether you perform at a pub or on a cruise ship or even a corporate event, you know, South by Southwest is really in, in part, it's a, it's a, it's a cultural event, music and film, right? It's also a corporate event. There's huge amounts of corporate people going there canceled, right? So, so there's some real challenges for stage hypnotists. And I would say like, for your sake, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am completely focused on pivoting. I'm like, I'm not worrying about how I can get more stage shows right now at all. And I mean that truly, I am not spending 1% of my energy trying to get stage shows right now. I am completely pivoting to how do I see more clients? How do I do more business generation in the non-stage side of my business? Even if that means writing a book and trying to make money on a book or something, I'll entertain anything else right now, but I'm really not focused because if this goes the way Osterholm, who's the expert on infectious diseases that I watched the interview of last night, I think his first name is either Greg or Doug. He says, we're just getting started. Now, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time playing what if, but I am going to consider it. If things are going to get dramatically worse and it's going to take time for it to build, because that's what happens with exponential growth, right? These infection situations, they start out what seems like pretty reasonable and all of a sudden they sort of spike and explode. We're in March right now. It could be really getting bad around May and June. That could scare people so much that who knows what like college opening is gonna be like in August. I don't know. I'd like to think it's all gonna be settled down and great by then. I really hope it is. But again, I'm not gonna put all my eggs in that basket. So if you're a stage hypnotist, you need to be really, really thinking right now about how you can generate revenue in non-stage ways, whether that means just going and getting a day job or whether it means getting training in consulting hypnotism if you don't have that training yet and shifting and using your, your existing skill set and trying to work with clients more. I don't know. Have that conversation though. Reflect on it and think.